Hi, this is Corrine for the Cut at Home Design Team and today I wanted to share a fun little project with you and to make these little books I use the Sizzix scoreboard die and I'll have a link to this over at Cut at Home's blog so check out the description box for more information. This die here is by Eileen Hull and it's the needle book die. These are fun because you can use matte board that Sizzix sells um, on Cut at Home and sandwich it between your pattern paper and it will do all the scoring that you need for you. So this was really easy to put together. I used some matte board in white and I don't have any left to show you except this little tiny piece but it's basically a thinner chipboard and it's in white. Again, Cut at Home has several colors that you can choose from, so I'll link them down below so you can check them out. But I used white, and I sandwiched it between, on this one, between some Karina Gardner, Gardner Just Because Paper. And I do have a video showing how I made this, so I will play that here in a moment. This one I did off camera. So it also, the die also comes with this little latch and you can use a brad enclosure or whatever type of enclosure you want. I used Velcro and just added a flat back pearl to it. And when you open this up, I have some felt that will hold your sewing needles or your pins. And I just use some seam binding to hold that together. And there's two layers of this. So you could add more. So this was very simple to put together and fun. In this sweet little one, I used some 6x6 Lost and Found by My Mind's Eye pattern paper. And again, just to adhere it to the mat board, I used some Angel Craft Podge. This is great because it dries quick. So I just used the applicator brush that comes in it, and I glued the paper to both the front side and the back side of the mat board. And then I ran it through my Sizzix Big Shot machine, and it cut and scored it all for me. So on this one I have a few little roses and a cute little tag that says a rose by any other name would smell would smell as sweet. Again using Velcro you open this up and this I made into a tiny little brag book using that same pattern paper. So little two by three photos would fit in here perfectly. And you could whip up a few of these to make as little stocking stuffers. Super cute. And I did adhere down this back page lightly with some glue and then ran some twine to hold it to the binding. Super simple put together. Check out Cut at Home's blog. I'll have all the information. And if you'd like to stay tuned to see how I made this one, then please continue to watch. Thanks so much for watching.